Hello YouTube. The outer space never ceases to amaze us. For the first time, outer space created mutants that we have detected. There was a life form born on the International Space Station that allegedly can wipe out all mankind from the face of the Earth. Before our eyes, space has produced a new life form, according to NASA. The astronauts scraped a foul-smelling substance from the wall of the ISS, International Space Station, and examined it. It turned out to be a mutant bacterium that appeared right there in the space outside of the bounds of our planet. And it has very frightening properties. For example, it seems that it is slightly reasonable or has reasoning abilities. Let's see what the Americans say about it. Multi-drug resistant bacteria found on the International Space Station mutate to become functionally distinct. Principal investigator Dr. Kasturi Venkatswaran of NASA's JPL led a team that studied 13 strains of the bacterial species Enterobacter pujandensis that were isolated from the International Space Station. This Enterobacter pujandensis is a bacterium notorious for being multi-drug resistant. Study findings indicate that under stress, the ISS isolated strains were mutated and became genetically and functionally distinct compared to their Earth counterparts. The strains were able to viably persist in the ISS over time in significant abundances. This Enterobacter pujandensis coexisted with multiple other microorganisms and in some cases could have helped those organisms survive. The research was published in the journal Microbiome. Closed human-built environments such as the ISS are unique areas that provide an extreme environmental subject to microgravity, radiation, and elevated carbon dioxide levels. Any microorganisms introduced to these areas must adapt to thrive. By delving into microbial dynamics in extreme environments, this research opens doors to effective preventative measures for the health of astronauts. Now let's see what the Russians say about this. And the sources. Uh, Komsomolskaya Pravda newspaper, dated April 22, 2024. Five years ago, astronauts discovered a large colony of Enterobacter bucidensis on the ISS, a bacterium that causes diseases of gastrointestinal tract. The attack manifested itself in samples taken in the toilet and in the sports area that is closer to sweat and other human secretions. This was unpleasant news. After all, the bacterium is known for being very difficult to kill. It is resistant to most antibiotics, but it is not very contagious and not so dangerous to humans. The space doctors reassured each other, but outer space has done its job in a confined space under the influence of interplanetary radiation, bacteria have mutated over the years. And now they represent something completely different. For the first time before our eyes, space has given birth to a new form of life. The mutant differs from its terrestrial counterparts, both genetically and functionally. That's what the study says. Now the bacterium is able to survive in the most incredible conditions and reproduces perfectly at the space station. But the most amazing thing is that it is 
it has a kind of consciousness. By learning to survive on its own, it helps other bacteria to survive. <coughs> how, how does it, how does it, how it does it? The researchers figure out pretty quickly. But why it would do this, and most importantly, how tiny organisms came up with the idea to cooperate for mutual help is a complete mystery. One thing is clear, the bacterial community has a goal to multiply on the space station and displace people from there. Therefore, it is beneficial for space bacteria to develop not only themselves, but also their allies. Now, let's look at the ISS. Versatile, permanently inhabited research institute in the low Earth orbit. The International Space Station is a multi-purpose research institute and a large observation platform in outer space for scientific research and applications. It also serves as a test center to introduce new technologies. This permanently occupied human outpost in outer space also serves as a stepping stone for the further space exploration. The International Space Station has been orbiting our planet since 1998. ISS is a large space station assembled and maintained in the low Earth orbit by a collaboration of five space agencies, NASA, United States Roscosmos, Russia, JAXA Japan, ESA Europe, and CSA Canada, and their contractors. ISS is the largest space station ever built. Its primary purpose is performing microgravity and space environment experiments. Operationally, the station is divided into sections. The Russian orbital segment assembled by Roscosmos and the U.S. orbital segment assembled by NASA, JAXA, ESA, and CSA. A striking feature of the ISS is the integrated truss structure, which connects the large solar panels and radiators to the pressurized modules. The pressurized modules are specialized for research, habitation, storage, spacecraft control. It's an incredible piece of work. Visiting spacecraft dock to the space station via its eight docking and berthing ports, the ISS maintains an orbit with an average altitude of 400 kilometers, 250 miles, and circles the Earth in roughly 93 minutes, completing 15.5 orbits per day. Um, elsewhere, I read that the space station orbits Earth at an altitude, average altitude of 227 nautical miles or 420 kilometers above Earth. As of 2021, there is one fully operational and permanently inhabited space station in low orbit, just one, the International Space Station, which is used to study the effects of space flight on the human body, as well as to provide a location to, done, to conduct a greater number and longer length of scientific studies. The ISS was originally intended to be a laboratory, observatory, and factory while providing transportation, maintenance, and a low-Earth orbit staging base for possibly future missions to the Moon, Mars, and asteroids. However, not all of the uses envisioned in the initial memorandum of understanding between NASA and Roscosmos have been realized. In the 2010 United States National Space Policy, the ISS was given additional roles of serving commercial, diplomatic, and educational purposes. The ISS is the Earth's only microgravity laboratory that has allowed more than 3,600 researchers in 106 countries to conduct more than 2,500 experiments, and the research continues. And I think with the new discovery of the mutated life forms, there will be more research. Higher than 400 kilometers above the ground where the ISS is flying, there is almost no air. 
This state where no air exists is called vacuum. Space is a vacuum, as far as we know. But of course, inside the ISS, the air is kept It's inside, so the astronauts are safe and able to move about without the aid of a space suit. Apparently, so do the mutated bacteria. I'll keep you more updated about um, developments in outer space. You can see a number of my recent videos about it too. And of course, also the effect of space on the human psyche based on the research of Soviet and Russian cosmonauts and Ukrainian too. You, you, you can find this all in my channel. And if you can support my research, of course, please do so through the links you'll find in the description to this video. Please tell others about my work. Please like my videos and thank you for all your attention to my work.